What's up, guys? Evan Texors. Welcome to Setup Words Seal of Approval Edition number three, the show where we look back on some of the best setups that received the seal of approval. If you guys haven't seen episode number one or two, then pause this video and go check that out first. That way you're all caught up because in this episode, we're going to be checking out seals number 21 through 30. Let's begin. The Peer Loop is the newest silent and reliable all-in-one cooler from Be Quiet, available in the range of 120mm based options from 120 to 360mm, with a 280mm version as well, featuring dual Peer wings to 140mm PWM fans. The Peer Loop features an easy-to-access refill port and their Peer wings 2 fans that are airflow optimized to ensure perfect cooling airflow. That combined with their inline pump design isolates even more noise for a silent operation. The old black aesthetic also guarantees that it will look stunning in every PC case. To learn more, click the link below. Seal number 21 went to Ricardo from episode 186 Ultimate Edition. Not only did he have such an awesome gaming setup, but he also had a dope gaming den as well. I absolutely loved his attention to detail and creativity. The desk setup itself was what caught my attention the most. He was the first person to use a double stacked desk. He was able to achieve this by adding a wall shelf or something similar in between both of the tabletops, giving it this really cool floating look. It's also the little things that racked up the points, like how he used an RGB mouse pad to add a bit of decoration and spice up the setup. This is the stuff that no one really thinks of. Another thing that caught my eye was the location of the PC. I love how he mounted it against the wall to the side, but still kept it visible. His dedication to the color scheme and symmetry along with creativity and exceptional cable management was the reason why he took home the seal of approval. Speaking of creativity, Pest Chalice's setup was the winner of the 22nd seal of approval. You know, I get a lot of music production setups, but it's not often that I'm blown away by them. That's until I came across Pest Chalice's submission on one fine evening while drinking some hot cocoa. The amount of planning and effort that went into the setup was impressive. He took the popular IKEA backhand desk and he modded the crap out of it so that it adds synergy and functionality to the setup while remaining aesthetically pleasing. He added pull-out drawers on both sides of the desk and custom built a monitorizer with the perfect size for his MIDI keyboard, but what really impressed me were the custom speaker mounts he built and mounted to the sides of the desk. Pastralis could have easily gone with floor stands for the speakers, but he said screw that and spent the extra time and money to make custom mounts for the speakers, which ended up looking way cleaner than any floor stands could. He was so committed to maintain that clean aesthetic that he mounted a PC on the side of the wall. That way it doesn't interfere with his near perfect symmetry. I did have one slight concern about the custom 3D printed GPU cover, since it's pretty much blocking all of the airflow, but that didn't stop him from taking home the 22nd seal of approval. Who can forget about Brittany's setup from episode 192? Not only was she the first girl ever to take home the seal, but this setup practically blew up the internet. Every single page on IG featured this setup, and it was even on the front page of Reddit at some point. I think we can all agree that Brittany's first setup was very memorable. It actually looked like more of an interior design you would find in a home magazine than an actual setup, since it was so unique and well done. She had this really cool U-shaped office layout with different sections. The main setup was for PC gaming with her sick custom water-cooled PC, which was adjacent to her console gaming station, and then right behind her PC gaming setup was the entertainment area with a wall-mounted TV. She designed the setup so that she could be in the center of all the action without much movement. I think she did a fantastic job adding this relaxing and cozy atmosphere to an amazing battle station. You know, we got the drop-down projector screen, ambient lighting, and a cup of tea or hot cocoa go to enjoy it all. She later applied for setup wars again with a completely revamped setup and got featured in episode 214, so give it a watch if you guys missed it. Carter, Carter, Carter. I have no idea where this dude came from, but let me just say, this setup was something else. In the five years of hosting setup wars, I have never come across something this 
interesting. I think we can all agree that Carter's Vietnam inspired setup was either over the top and a bit too much or it was perfectly executed. There isn't anything in between. He did such an awesome job keeping the camouflage theme that I even had trouble finding some of the gear in this setup. This man has given it all. Sweat, tears, and maybe a little bit of blood. I love the fact that he has a missile launcher casually chilling next to his chair and an ammo crate as his footrest. But my favorite part of the setup hands down has to be the wall mounted AK-47s, one of which was gold plated. Actually scratch that, my favorite part of the setup was the missile launcher button that turns on his PC. Very clever. The only concern I had with the setup was the excessive amount of leaves on the desk that took up a lot of the mouse space and it made it a bit cluttered, but such a small price to pay to achieve such an awesome setup. Kobe's setup was the first setup on the show that was awarded the seal of approval based on your votes. For the first time ever, I'll let you guys decide if this setup was worthy by leaving your votes. And well, I'm sure you guys have guessed it, it was a unanimous decision. The reason for this was because I was bothered by the way he mounted those shelves. They weren't really parallel with the desk, but either way, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm actually glad he got the seal because this setup was just so creative. You gotta give Kobe some credit on the dedication to the One Piece theme. He was so dedicated to the theme that he even skinned his monitors and items to stay consistent. I personally like the custom made monitor stand and how all three of the monitors are the same height. He also did a fantastic job slapping a personality to it while staying super organized and symmetrical. It's not often that weeb setups take home the seal, so this was more of a confidence boost for the other weebs watching that it is certainly possible. I don't think there's a single soul on this planet that wasn't impressed by Bruno's epic modular setup. This setup was hands down the best setup on the show for many reasons. The fact that he built the setup from scratch and went above and beyond adding all of these little mods was the reason why it separated itself from the rest of the competition. The star of the show was of course the custom made desk with the built in display and two separate chambers. The first one housed his custom water cooled PS4 while the other one has his main PC that's also water cooled. There isn't a single square inch of the setup that doesn't have functionality. He even has these key cards which are used in combination with pin codes to open up the drawers. I mean one of them is actually used to power on his PC. Like what? That is insane. Absolutely breathtaking setup that really set the standard of ultimate setups on the show. Definitely an episode worth watching if you guys want to see more of this insane battle station. Episode 201 actually had two seal winners. Aside from Bruno, Jonathan also took home a seal with this incredible dual setup. On one side, we have his triple monitor setup for competitive gaming and photo editing, while the other setup with the giant screen is used for drawing and casual 4K gaming with a controller. Those custom made hexagon light panels on the wall were mesmerizing and super creative. I just love that Jonathan mixed it up with some nano leaf panels on the other wall. Aside from how stunning the presentation is, Jonathan did a fantastic job keeping everything so organized and cable free. The creativity and execution of the setup was the reason why he took home the 27th seal of approval. Locke is no stranger to setup wars. In fact, this was his fourth time on the show, and as they say, the fourth time is a charm. Well, not exactly. Locke decided to completely redo his epic ROG themed gaming room for the fourth time. He built a custom desk for his PC gaming setup and a custom TV stand for the entertainment area with a giant ROG logo on the wall. The amount of effort and dedication that he puts into these setups are nothing short of incredible. I love the RGB ceiling that he made and his sick custom water cooled rig rocking dual 2080 Ti's in SLI. A little birdie told me he's working on a new setup, so I'm pretty excited to see what he's cooking up next. Mikuro Kito's setup from episode 211 was such an inspiring setup. It was miles beyond anything we've seen on the show. To put it simply, this setup was out of this world. I just love the creativity that went into this setup. He used the perfect combination of gear and lighting to give this a retro futuristic look. Even some of the mods were very creative, like how he added white caution strips next to the raceway and he used an RGB packaging strip as part of the decoration. That is just insane. 
My favorite part of the setup was actually the side table. I love that he built a little workbench area with RGB lights around the edge and against the wall. I feel like he did an excellent job keeping everything balanced. Nothing seems too subtle or overdone. There's a nice synergy between everything in the setup that not only provides functionality, but also looks aesthetically pleasing. Every inch of the setup has been so carefully planned and well executed that I had no reason not to award him the 29th seal of approval. The 30th and final seal of approval for this episode went to none other than Sarah and her playground. Sarah was the second girl ever on Setup Wars to receive the seal of approval and for good reason. Her absolutely jaw-dropping gaming den. I love the rustic and modern look that she was going for, but what impressed me the most was the amount of custom work that went into this entire room. She built her desk and the rest of the furniture in the room out of recycled food boxes and old pallets. Her lighting was also impeccable. I love how she was able to emphasize and make different parts of the setup stand out. I also think she did a great job keeping everything so organized and symmetrical. Her attention to detail and creativity alone was enough to take home the 30th seal of approval. So which of these setups was your absolute favorite? Let me know by commenting down below. Also, if you guys are enjoying the seal of approval edition, make sure to slap that like button before you head out as it does help out the channel a ton and I can continue doing them for you. And also if you guys are new here and you enjoy watching setup content, then consider subscribing because I do a ton of these on the channel. I love you beautiful nose hairs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one.